All right, we're back. Whitney's texting. I, yeah. Um, she, she's got an empire to run, and she can't just be watching reaction videos all day, slash watching TV shows and reacting to them. Previously on The Hills. What is this? After Spencer surprised Heidi with video games and graffiti for their apartment. It's a gift. Oh my God. Heidi's frustration couldn't be covered up any longer. I mean, I thought we should make decisions together. What furniture we get, what we put on the wall. I totally agree. Audrina decided to start seeing her ex-boyfriend again. He abandoned you in Vegas. Keeping my opinions to myself, they just get me in trouble. As much as I really wanted Audrina to have a boyfriend, I just wasn't sure if this was the right guy. Excuse you, mister. <laughs> we all just needed to have some fun and Brody's upcoming beach party seemed like the perfect place to do it. Especially since Heidi was about to take Spencer away for the weekend. Hi, Hello. how are Hello. you? How are you? Good, how are you? How can I help you? Um, I actually have a ring that I need to be sized. Yes, of course. Beautiful ring. Thank mm. you. Very nice. Your finger? Or should it be this one? Which hand is engagement ring? This one. I think this is perfect. Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah. Give Great. me a second, okay, please. Okay, thank you. So, I was thinking maybe um, you could come back to Colorado with me for a weekend if you want. I mean, my dad and, you know, meet my sister and my brother this weekend. Um, this weekend was the barbecue we were doing, but... Well, if there's a barbecue you want to go to... No, no, no. I would much rather go meet your family and go to Colorado. Wow. Open up the dirty windows of the sun loom. Should we do full speed? Oh, speed round? Yeah. Sun loom and it was a beacon up on range and for something in one isn't so close to your own days and we reach a fear which don't feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can learn it. No one else can feel the rain on your skin. Don't you so gentle, but you give me yourself a ticket for now. Today is my obedience. Rest in love. Say what you say, we get money round here. Round here, y'all really want it round here. Round here, watch how I do that then. Yeah, Ooh, rim shopping. Candy store. Yeah. Those are all like Mercedes. Well, 2007 sh you can do. Uh -huh. So this weekend, I'm going to go meet Heidi's whole family in Colorado. This weekend is the barbecue that we planned two months ago with Nick and Frankie and all the boys. It's like, um, Brody, get your head out of your ass. I'm going to meet the family of the lady I proposed to. I don't care about your barbecue with Santini, f***ing idiot. Santini. I'm going to be there in spirit. Only we've been planning this for two months. It's like, Dude, it doesn't take two been, months of yeah, like, what? what? You get the charcoal and I'll f***ing meet you there. Don't look at me like that. You've known about it for two months. Check your little Blackberry schedule. Right, how many barbecues have we I mean, there's a lot, but it doesn't matter. We plan on this. But just stop flaking out. If you're going to make plans with me, then you stop. Stop, stop. You yeah. don't care, Brody. Stop. 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 I understand that you're in love, but it just sucks when you just flake out on the homies like that. Doesn't. This is the exact same thing. Brody is Lauren. Heidi, Spencer. Come on. And Lauren is Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> and Adriana is Heidi. Yeah. And Justin is Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it nice being here instead of Hollywood? Hollywood doesn't have this. I know. Oh, there's no <laughs> beach there. Aaron got off to a rough start. I hope you two can get along. It's all good. She's just worried. For you? For me, because I've been screwed over by so many guys. Oh, dum dum dum. So she's just like, you know, looks out for her friends. She good, that's being a good friend. Yeah. She doesn't need to worry about it either. Stop doing that thing with your eyes every time. It's only because you have yeah. them. Right, then it's all good. What? It's so you're cute. You're cute. <laughs> He's like, I want to go back on that. You're cute. It's like this now. You always make my first cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same exact coloring. Same shit Spencer would do. He'd be like, yeah, man, this is like, don't, don't do anything to piss me off or I'll kill you. And then, then she'd be like, wait, you can't wait? be like, let's get married. <laughs> Peace, guys. Peace, moment.
I am very excited. You sound Tad nervous, excited. actually. Yeah? <laughs> Does all your whole family know we're coming, or just your mom? Um, I think the whole town knows we're coming. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Do your parents know all about our relationship? Like, what do they know? Can you what give do you me... mean, all about our relationship? Like, give me some intel on... They know we live together. Okay. I mean, I talk to my mom every day. Yeah, this is pretty much the heaviest thing I've ever done. I feel like he has not had any contact with them at all. Uh -uh. Which, that's real. Yeah. Thank you. Like, thank you. Yes. I'll follow the story. Agreed. What are you guys doing tomorrow? Oh, we used to go to over at a house in Malibu, and you want me to invite you? Nice. And you. Oh, that's fun. Good service. Oh. <laughs> Beach barbecue this summer. It's going to be fun. Where in the world is Lo San Diego? I hope that the Carmen San Diego thing looks like that. She's like, I got a hat. Everyone's like, you're going to wear that hat? Because you know we're filming. She's like, yeah, I'm going to wear it. And everyone's like, you're, OK. Cause you know it's gonna be on TV, Lo. She's like, yeah, it's gonna. I know. And they're like, okay, it. fine. It's like me with the headband. I'm sure someone was like, oh. no, everyone... with the beanie headband. They're probably like, oh. they didn't care enough to warn you. But Lauren is like, look, you're my best friend from home. You're gonna wear that hat. Okay, all right. As long as you never do anything to disappoint me. Okay. I'm always friends with my exes, though. I know. I know, you are good at that. Yeah. And the thing with Brody and I is like, we really enjoy each other's company. You know, we get along really well. Do you think you'd mind if I brought Justin? No, no, no. He said he can bring people, so. Well, it's always nice to have somebody, like, new and unique in your life. He's been on and off with him for two years. I know, but every time he comes back into your life, then all of a sudden, it's like a party. Justin Bobby is complicated. He is a bit complicated. And I think that's why I like, because he definitely keeps me on my toes. Justin Bobby. Now that's officially his name. All right, all right. Colorado, here we go. Crested Butte. I remembered it was Crested Butte. Beautiful Butte. there. She like hugs the baggage guys because like she knows everyone. Time to meet the parents. The airport is so small that you can park on the tarmac. I wasn't kidding. People are like, I'm from a small town. I'm like, oh, you have no idea what a small town is. Wow. Yeah. How cute yeah. is this? I'm so nervous, but so excited. I You're seen my nervous. Family this long. is your family. I've never I met know. them. Come on now. You okay? Come on now, I'm nervous. Yeah. Really cute. I wonder if that's where she comes out. Aww. Yeah. I've got your time. She's like, so Hi. Hi. Your sister. Hi. What's going on? Hi. I wore my shirt inside out for you guys. Family. Oh Hi. my god, look how big you are. Well, you it's a pleasure. Spencer. Yeah. Finally. Good to meet you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Great. Like That's it's amazing. amazing. It's a oh, really beautiful. Wow. She, is. I like it here, she wants to move back there. She's told me a bunch of times. See the sun. I like it here. Different in LA. I don't blame her. Here I come in a bikini. Oh, really? Brody, excited. Is this Brody's Here. house? No. Whose house was it? They probably, I don't know. I think they just rented it. Pat Daddy. Pat Daddy, did he play a game? Um, I have that hat. Smet. I have it, yeah. I have Smet. it, but I have it in red. <laughs> With his wife in Colorado. <laughs> oh. I bet you right now he's riding horseback through the mountains. <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah, what are you guys laughing at? Yeah. Frankie, you're wearing a red headband yeah. that's the size of a shoelace. <laughs> Fritos. Like, like Heidi's eating Fritos. And that was Adriana. It's Pratt. Oh. Is he riding on the Did he come up from his cheat on his wife phone? Brody Jenner. What up? <laughs> You having fun out in the, in the outback? That's surreal. She's from a different world than we grew up in, Mr. Jenner, I'll tell you that. Rookie! We're all here at the barbecue. It's the most beautiful day out in Malibu right now. We're chilling. Some ladies. Oh, wait, you don't care about that. Yeah, well, you guys can uh, pretend I'm there. Well, you're blowing it. Tell Heidi's dad. I don't think he cares about being there. Because I guess they're going to be my best friend's future mother and father-in-law, so. Uh, talk to you later. Thanks for calling me your best friend. Well, he's horseback riding. We should go on the kayak. Yeah, I'll go on the kayak. Hi! Oh! Oh! oh and not lie in the house. Baby doll. Baby doll, I'm tired. I'm glad you guys came. 
We're about to go yes, on the kayak. Today. We're going kayaking. We're gonna get our fitness on. You guys should get on the one next to us and start racing. I'm not going on kayak. Going. You're at the beach. Cool. Fine. Go yeah, Drina. Yes, Adrina. <laughs> I know. She has bang and bod. Oh. Don't cream your jeans too quickly. Oh. Oh. Watch out! I feel like, where's the dip? <laughs> I was like, can I see around Justin Bobby? Is that Nevin? Playing quarterback? Oh, 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 oh. oh chill. It's like I thought we'd been best friends for all life. Net tackled me. In front of all the dudes. We're having fun. Very plain break. Oh, my finger. Ah. Yeah, Paul Walker should be like, it'll be hurt now. I swear to God, I swear to God. It's broken, but trust me. It is. It's broken. I know. Because that's that trainer I went on a day with. He just broke his finger. Party's over, guys. Everyone out of my house. <laughs> beach house. This has really nice stuff in here. Did you want to go in anywhere? I got to get a Crescent View t-shirt ASAP. I'm 100% of the same. I tried to buy you one before, and Heidi was like, don't send him a t-shirt. What do you think about Spencer? He's nice. He's, he's polite. And as long as that's the person you like, then... You know, I've always said I wanted, you know, a guy like my daddy, so... Well, if you think he's that way, then that's what, all that's important to me. No, I love him a lot. We'll take it slow, though, you know, one day at a time. We need to talk with him and see how... <laughs> see, well, you know, yeah. I haven't had that talk with him. Well, let but... me know if you have that talk. Yeah, we will. I look forward <laughs> to it. I mean, that's all real. Oh. Justin Bobby? <laughs> yeah. Scratching. He's scratching. Scratching. I can see Sonia like looking like that kind of not. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, top. Oh my god. It's so bad. I, I swear to God, look. Is that weird? Is that playing football? This part will move right here. I just gotta go get checked out. Okay. I'm just gonna Bye. go to the emergency room. I'll be back in eight hours. Ooh. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetie. So good. I saw you today too. Yeah. Nice little Sweet. Yeah. Everybody good? We're Can all I get good. anything for you? I'm good. Let's go out and have a little talk. What do you say, buddy? Uh, I we just, just sat down for lunch. Put my slider down. <laughs> I'm not back. Come get me. <laughs> this is like a bachelor date. Yeah. I came out and uh, I get a chance to meet you and we can talk a little bit and I can get to know you a little better. You know, I just want to kind of build that trust that I have with Heidi with you somehow. I mean, all I can tell you is in my whole life, I never, never thought. I was gonna be the kind of person that was wanted to get so serious with a girl ever, because I was like, oh, I'll get married when I'm 50. And it's like, at the end of the day, I just love spending every second with Heidi, so. Yeah. But Heidi has been this type of gal that would be very social, and then she would get a boyfriend, and she would lose all of her friends, because she would kind of, they would become secondary to her. And, and I mean, now all she has is you. But if things were to go south, what would happen to her? I just hate to have her have all her eggs in one basket. Nobody said in response I know. to that. Probably was like nothing's gonna happen to her. Yeah, I like, I like her. Like Lauren is not like her real friend. Yeah, I'm gonna be with like, her for the rest yeah. of my life. It's a bummer for them that. Ooh, he's flirting with bad checks. Look at him. He's such a flirt. He's been ignoring me all afternoon. Serious. That guy should be jumping to date you, right? You want, uh, you want a turkey burger? <gasps> Brody comes back with a full cash. Oh, man, it's way worse. I gotta get Brody, surgery in 10 days. What? He has to get oh, surgery? My God. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. But you won't be able to, you won't, I'll show you what happened. Oh my God, you've got an x-ray. Well, laugh it up, guys. He's not, he's not happy. Uh -huh. Yeah, keep on laughing. Can't wait till it happens to you. Why is it gonna happen to her? Yeah. Sure, I rarely play football. I'm so is that happy okay? that you're in a loving, mature relationship. Spencer could be the guy that ends up being, you know, your husband. Not you know? could be. That's who I want to be. Well, he's made a huge effort to come all the way out here to Colorado and get to know your family. And I can't imagine my life without Spencer. Like, 
He's my best friend. He's my boyfriend. He's my everything. Like I've well, never. Well, I know, and that's kind of my concern because I don't think. You don't need to be concerned. This is my life and what I'm doing. My you only concern for you is if, you know, that you guys end up having trouble. Where are you going to go? I have a lot of friends, a lot of Spencer's friends, and they have girlfriends and I hang out with a lot of them. And what happened between? You and Lauren? Don't, don't care about it, Mom. Don't care about it. He was upset that I was spending time with Spencer. I think that couldn't be the only thing. There must and be Mom, some. It just seems to me that there's a lot. I mean, Mom, if you guys aren't I don't getting even together, want to talk about this right now. The mother doesn't need to be worried about your, your old best friend. Friends again. A mom would. A mom would. If like Sunny had a best friend for a while and they were living together. For a year and a half. I think they're 21. My I mom has no clue who I lived with at 21. I'm telling you, they were only friends for six months. I don't think that is that what people are saying on the blogs. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> but weren't, didn't they meet in San Francisco after Lauren was done with Laguna Beach? Yeah, I and then, thought like, so. really quickly, they only did, like, a semester in San Francisco and really quickly came down to L.A. And there's not one second on the hills for their friends. Okay. From the very first episode where she's like, I'm dropping out of fit, and Lauren's like, cool, yeah, I'm going to drop you. But drop. when you start filming a TV, with so a TV show with someone and you live in the same place as them, like, you get really close really fast. And I think it would be normal for your mom to ask you, like, what happened there? Yes, yes, that is a circumstance that I agree exists. I just don't think it existed with the two of them. Okay. And also a lot of people are like, Tim, you don't understand. Like, girls get really close. Like, I, I don't want to dismiss that, like, completely out of pocket because, like, girls' relationships are just as different from one another as, like, boys' relationships are. And, like, like men cannot understand a girl's friendship. I don't know. I just don't know. No, I, I, um, I think that's wrong. Say. I don't think it's about girls versus boys friendships. Right, it's, it's just, just you just, think they got close and I don't think yeah. they did. And I totally respect your opinion. I just, just am sticking with mine. That's fine. I love you. Agree to disagree. <laughs> Brody's like trying to break Lauren's finger. You'll see! My band didn't come to this restaurant again. <laughs> laughed at me when I walked in. And it's listen. It's kind of funny though. Just listen to me. Right now, if you were to start laughing at me and be like, haha, it's kind of funny. But when I first walked in for you to just laugh at me like, I didn't like Why is he? It was like, I hurt my finger and I was like, I gotta go get my finger fixed. And I came back with a full like arm cast to my elbow. It would be a little funny because it was unexpected. You have to understand something. I'm a little insecure about this, okay? <laughs> so please understand that. It's not a big deal, but it's like, it kind of sucks Wait, when you Can you guys just chill out, please? Both of you just nah. He was he yeah. was inside of his own fillet. Yeah, he was. He did not like her laughing at him. I still can't believe you painted this whole place. Every stroke. I would love to come and help you guys. I'd love to paint your apartment. Heidi just and I want to paint your apartment. apartment. <laughs> Heidi, Heidi painted a nice our white. apartment. It's a very beautiful <laughs> color. So Spencer, I'm impressed with your commitment with this ring. I just got it because I wanted her to know. I think of her as I, a wife. I live together, you know, with her. Wait, I think before you make an ultimate commitment with someone, you need to go through some really rough times, you know, and bounce back from those. And I would marry her today. So, I mean, it's, she deserves the world. So I'm ready when she is. Am I at the barbecue yet? Been here today. I was at work with her today and she was not feeling well all day, so she went home. Spencer's not here either. You guys okay? Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. It's fine. It's fine, we're good. We're fine. I honestly. He's just always with Heidi. Constantly. No, I know, I get that. Because honestly, like the last whatever times I've seen you out, never, Spence. I get it. I lost a best friend last year too. No. It's like I didn't lose a best friend. Uh -huh. She just didn't show up to bar barbecue. Uh, chocolate souffle in LA. This is the real deal. Excuse me, I'll be right back. We'll be waiting. What an angel. <laughs> so, Spencer, it seems to me that this posture. I thought is Heidi getting taken away from her. Why does there have to be an either or? It's literally like a stubborn, immature, little selfish little girl who's like, I want Heidi to myself. You don't share her. Da -da -da. It's like literally like that. That's what it's about. You just scared us. I mean, mm -hmm. benefited from having her as a best friend and you as a boyfriend, and there's room for everybody. Yeah, you know, it's especially like... with a heart as big as Heidi's. What are you talking about? As a best friend, 
you know, to be there for two years and to work as two years. Did. Why are we talking about Lauren? It was two years before they moved out, but whatever, whatever. Okay. She doesn't want to have the conversation. No, no. She's like, I'm on my own show. Yeah. I'm like, Lauren's not even on my show. You have Adrena in LA because I love Adrena so much. And she's been such a good roommate. It's hard to find good friends. And Heidi is just, she let Hollywood go to her head, changed her, turned her into a different person. And she let a guy influence her. And you know what I mean? I know, but you, you have to like understand. That. I know guys do do that, but you just gotta stick with But your only to like a point, like Jason, hated Heidi, like he hated her. And like, I always said, like, I don't care. Like, I'll always be friends with Heidi, and it was. You don't want to let people in, it's hard for you. And once you let those people in, you don't want to let them go. And when they f up, you're like, why would you do that to me? Do you understand what's going on? They're having like a heart to heart about yeah. Heidi and Lauren is crying cause she, she's like, you know, Jason hated Heidi, which we didn't know about, mm -hmm. but, and I was always like, I'll always be friends with her. And Lauren's feeling hurt because Lauren feels like Heidi chose Spencer over her. That's where her tears are coming from. You don't believe her tears. I, I believe she's upset. I just mm -hmm. don't know. What is, what, what is Heidi, what does Spencer hating Heidi have to do with anything? It's not Heidi. It's not Spencer hating uh, Jason, Heidi. It's Jason. Jason it's just it's about a boyfriend hating a, your girlfriend's best friend. Like Jason. Hated Jason and Spencer. Lauren were dating. Jason and Lauren were dating. And Jason hated Heidi. Hated her. But Lauren was always like, I'm always going to be friends with Heidi. So you just have to deal. Uh -huh. Do you see how it's the same situation? But. <laughs> Heidi didn't choose she, Heidi wasn't like I'm always going to be friends with Lauren I'm going to defend Lauren Heidi Lauren saying that Heidi chose Spencer over her but she didn't choose Heidi over Jason but Jason didn't give her that ultimatum and they didn't they didn't have to have to get to that point she's saying it doesn't have to get to that point I, I gave you my feelings like I did everything for you you just screwed me over it's like I wish Heidi was a better person but Jason didn't give Lauren an ultimatum between him and and uh, and Heidi. No. But but Lauren gave Heidi an ultimatum between Heidi and Spencer. Spencer didn't give that ultimatum. Like it just it just doesn't. Mm -hmm. The two situations I, I don't understand. Jill, you have all your oh, amazing friends. I, I love you to death. I, like, I would do anything for you ever. It's just hard losing a best friend. I love you. I love you too. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll be in there if you need anything. Oh, he's got to sit on the couch. <laughs> I love you. I wonder if he really slept on the couch. I know. Aww. I'm gonna go grab us a couple drinks. I haven't seen Justin in forever. I'm gonna try to call him. He probably won't even answer. He just left. Oh, because he said he wasn't feeling well? I wonder what's on this one. Hey, Justin left this on the couch. Ooh, she he was like. He on the couch? He just left me? He's gone? Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. Seriously, I'm done. Oh. Nah. Why are they? There's like a little smile yeah. underneath both of them. Yeah. I'm done. I know. I can't do it anymore. Look at me. <laughs> Homeboy wore combat boots to the beach. <laughs> I know you uh -huh. your boyfriend. I know you don't. <laughs> Him leaving this on the table, not saying bye. Like, I'm done. I'm over it. Hey, Bebe. <laughs> Life's tough. We'll get, get it all in the moment. I love you. I love you. No.
pictures. On the time. hill. I am going to dinner with Justin. Friends? Oh. <laughs> Lauren, you know that we don't like that. <laughs> you are rolling around with my enemy. I got nothing to say to you. Spencer broke up with me. I don't you, Brody. Hanging out with them. She's hanging out with Brody Jenner as her new friend. You know who spread all those rumors? It's Brody Jenner. Okay. What? And also, Brody and Lauren were friends. Before. Do not hang out with my enemy. Yeah. Did you ever have an enemy? <laughs> I can only remember one girl who I wouldn't even consider her an enemy, but she threatened to beat me up. What's her name? Nancy Cisneros. To us, Nancy. If I see you <laughs> in, on the street, I will beat you up. In sixth grade. Just kidding. No physical violence. She's like, you better watch yourself at three o'clock when the bell rings. I'm coming for you. Did she come for you? No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to make sense of that episode? Well, 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 well. I think, I mean, Audrina's tears felt real. She felt like she was really disappointed that he left her. Do you think he really left her? Um. I don't know. Something happened and she was definitely upset. Uh -huh. They were definitely smiling at each other mm -hmm. and it made me feel weird. Mm -hmm. and I don't know what happened. I agree. It's a mystery. I'm going to ask Audrina. The Spencer and the family stuff felt real mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like, hey, Spencer, like we want to get to know you, maybe slow things down and him being like, I'm ready, I'm ready to marry her now. Oh, totally. Uh, and, and then them feeling afraid. Yes. And her, or the mom wanting to get to the bottom of the friendship thing, which likely was a producer telling her, like, please ask why they aren't friends anymore. But let's not real fake chase anymore. Let's not. We don't have to what say are that. What feelings? Did you enjoy the episode? Um, cool. Me too. Yeah, that's how I felt about it, right? Totally valid. That's how I felt about it. I just can't. I want some more major drums. Yeah. And a new storyline? Maybe about me? Yeah. I'd love <laughs> to see some you in there. Like, am I getting my wisdom teeth pulled again? <laughs> Did my sister crochet me a new hat? Yeah, am I redesigning my bedroom? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Peace in the streets.